today I'm making a really special piece. This is a memorial pendant for a mother who lost her daughter. And she's just a lovely woman. She chose to use some amethyst. This is natural amethyst stone because her daughter's favorite color was purple. And she's entrusted me with her daughter's ashes. So I'm just setting everything up here. And I'm using a stainless silver bezel and we're going to set it in resin. So first I put a base layer of resin to hold everything in. And every step of this process is by hand and quite delicate. So I ha first I have to spread out the resin and ensure there's no bubbles. And then I'm setting it in a UV lamp. And this cures the resin so it's nice and hard and crystal clear. And again, just adding another layer of resin and smoothing it out with my paintbrush and making sure there's no bubbles. And I'm going to take the ashes little by little and I'm creating a nice swirl. I could tell right away the mother is such a positive and bright spirit. And I just feel so grateful that she trusted me to make this memorial piece for her. So I'm just making sure it's extra perfect and extra special. Making sure the swirl is exactly how I want it. And now I'm going to go ahead and add some real natural amethyst crystals into this. Amethyst is actually a local stone. It's collected right here in BC. And so I think that's really neat too. So I'm just going through, I'm picking the crystals that call to me. Since the daughter's favorite color was purple, I wanted to pick the most vibrant pieces because amethyst can really range. A lot of pieces can be almost clear. So I'm just going ahead and picking through for those bright pieces. The paintbrush is a perfect tool for this. With a little bit of resin on it, I'm able to go through and pick up the pieces I want. But it still can get a little difficult to pick out the exact pieces. They can be a little pesky. Sometimes I think I'm going to use a piece and I'll oh, change my mind. It's too big or it's not the right shape. Even sometimes I'll pick up a piece, but it's just a little too sticky. So I have to kind of nudge it into place. I'm just continuing to add the amethyst crystals into that swirl. And once I felt I had it perfect, I set it in the UV lamp again. And now I'm going to pick out my real flowers. The mother chose to use baby's breath. I pressed these all myself and now I'm going in and picking the best looking flowers. And I'm leaving a bit of stem on because I'm going to make it into a bouquet here, shape. This is what I think I might use. And I'm leaving a little stem on them because I'm going I to... I never really know which thing. flowers I'm going to use, so I like to choose a few. And then in the moment, I kind of place them into the pendant how I like them. So I add a little base of resin to help stick the flowers into place. And I'm smoothing it out, making sure there's no bubbles. And just placing them into the shapes that I want. Baby's breath are a really great flower for pressing because they're so small but they're a perfect flower shape and once I get the flowers into the perfect position how I like them I'm going to set it in the UV lamp again and now I'm adding the final coating of resin just to lock everything in. It makes it waterproof and it gives it a really beautiful shine. So just, I'm carefully adding that top layer. 
and removing all the bubbles. Sometimes I have to persuade the bubbles to come out with my paintbrush or I can use a flame to pop the bubbles as well. And curing it again. And it's pretty much done, it just needs to finish hardening. I'm feeling very pleased how this has turned out. So now that it's all finished, I'm going to clean up my workspace a little bit and I'm going to drill a hole into the pendant so I can add a jump ring. So I just place it on the wood and I'm drilling a small hole in the top. and giving it a polish so it has a nice shine. And adding a jump ring. I use really high quality metals. This one is a stainless silver. It's waterproof and very durable. And adding a chain as well. And I use my pliers to open up the jump ring so I can get the pendant on there. Oh, not wide enough, a little wider. And then I'll just get that into the hole that I drilled. And poking it in there and adding the chain and just closing it up. And it's finished. Isn't it stunning? I'm very happy with this piece. And when I showed the mother, she was so excited, and really happy about it. Such a beautiful way to remember a loved one. And I can custom make these for anyone, so please check my link in bio.